Iron Banner is back, and it is the weekly reset, so I will be going over everything that is available for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is the weekly reset, yay! However, as you guys can see on the screen, it is also Iron Banner, and this is the final Iron Banner before Destiny 2 Shadow Keep is released. So definitely go ahead and get in this, get your Swarm of the Raven, get your little sniper rifle or whatever other gun you want, and go ahead and get it before the season ends because that is very very important but before we get into the video if you guys enjoy this video and would like to see more destiny 2 content as soon as it's released then go ahead and sub to the channel turn on notifications follow me on twitter and also go ahead and join the guardian watcher discord it's a growing lfg community where content creators and streamers can also post all of their destiny 2 videos and also post when they go live starting off with the traveler we have Ikora, which we need to complete 20 of her bounties, as well as gain 5,000 XP for the clan. Go ahead and open up uh, treasure chests for Callus. Forge two weapon frames. Coming down to Titan. We have your uh, Heroic Adventure, as well as your Flashpoint. And you need to complete public events, Lost Sectors, and Heroic Adventures. If you do the heroic public event, you can get this done a lot faster. Coming to the Vanguard, we need to go ahead and complete three daily story missions as well as three strikes. Modifiers this week are Void Singe, Iron, and Heavyweight. Oh, Heavyweight. Next, we have your Nightfall, which you need to complete one with 100,000 points as well as just complete a Nightfall. Nightfalls this week are The Corrupted, Inside Terminus, and Exodus Crash. As for Gambit, for the Reckoning, we need to go ahead and get 100% progress uh, in the Reckoning. Modifiers this week are Solar Singe, as well as the Grenadier. Then we need to go ahead and complete three Gambit matches, as well as complete four Gambit Prime matches. Coming to Crucible, as I said earlier, Iron Banner is back, so we need to go ahead and complete five Crucible matches of any type, except for a private match. And then last but not least, in the Dreaming City, Petrovenge is in Ray Sylvia, and we need to go ahead and complete two of her weekly bounties. So let's go ahead and see what Lord Saladin has for us this week. So, we got all of your bounties, and then we got your pursuits. Here we are at Tess Everest for the Eververse. And had to grab that. So, starting with the weekly offerings, we have the Lucid Melody, which is an ornament for the Lumina. Then we have the Gyro Shell. Oh my god, that looks so sick. Kind of reminds me of uh, Destiny 1, where the speaker's uh, little area was. Yeah, that, that's what this reminds me of. It's so cool. Then we have Link Up. Just a little gay emote. Then we have a ship. Vehicle. And then the best of year one engram. Down here, we have your fire team medallion, your gleaming boon of the vanguard, as well as of the crucible. We also have a uh, guardian green transmat effect. Then we have the digital ops um, ornament for the Mita multi tool. I actually like this. Looks pretty cool. Then we have the uh, Fire Victoria Shell. And 
And last but not least, the Wave Crasher. Coming straight down to Bright Dust, we have Time Out. And then we have Drop Pod Shell. A little Warmind themed uh, ghost. Looks pretty cool. Then we have the Intrepid Exploit Plate for the Titan. This comes with Unflinching Power Aim, Unflinching Sniper Aim, Auto Rifle Reserves, as well as Special Ammo Finder. Okay, look at that real quick. It's pretty basic. Then we have the Ronin, which is the ornament for the Izanagi's Burden. And this thing looks amazing. I love it. I have it on mine. And if you guys do not have the Izanagi's Burden, go ahead and grab it because it will be the most likely highest damaged weapon for raids, especially when uh, you're doing boss damage, come Shadow Keep. Uh, at least as of right now, it is. So definitely go ahead and grab um, the Ronin, which is the ornament, as well as get your hands on the Izanagi's Burden. Then we have the Meteor Shower, which is the ornament for the Parcel of Stardust. Then we have the Mad Son of Psychicles. I hope, I hope I said that right. <laughs> I don't think I did though. It's okay though. Then we have the Child's Projection. Looks pretty cool on my Kit Bash shell. Coming down here for the consumables, we have the Fire Team Medallion, Gleaming Boon on the Vanguard, Gleaming Boon on the Crucible, as well as the uh, Coastal Suede. Pretty decent looking shader, I will say. Not one of the best, but it's okay. Then we have the Minotaur effects, Transmat effect. Okay. And then we have Cade's Duds. It's a shader I haven't seen in such a while. Doesn't really look too good on my Hunter, though. Then we got your reflection effects. I'm not gonna lie, I like that Minotaur one. And then we have all of your bounties. So real quick, for Hotfix 2.5.2.3, there's literally really, really small things that have changed. And real quick, all it is is that the annual pass content is now available for all Forsaken players of Destiny 2. And then all native modifiers have been removed from the Reckoning. Really nothing big, really small patch. And that, that's pretty much all that came with this update. And right now I'm just here chilling with Colonel. God, I miss Cade. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And feel free to watch these videos as well. Definitely get subscribed for more Destiny 2 content coming at you guys soon. And I will see you guys in the next video.